uh, we're here in the shop and we're building things and we're using math and math is everywhere. So again, this is a chisel. Chisels are used to cut wood. All right? When you're cutting, you want a sharp tool. There's a saying, nobody ever hurt themselves with a sharp tool. You always hurt yourselves with dull tools. So what makes a tool sharp? And the answer is geometry. You have two planes with a chisel. You have the back edge and you have the bevel. When two planes intersect, they make a straight line. That straight line is the cutting edge of the tool. The smoother the surface of the planes, the straighter the line, the sharper the edge. So this chisel, well, it cuts wood, but it's really not that sharp. All right, question is, does it cut hair? The answer is no. Well, let's get it to where I can shave with it. It's only geometry. Okay. We're going to come over to our uh, friendly vertical belt sander and we're going to polish the planes on our chisel and make a sharp edge. And again, this is all math. This is geometry because of the planes. This is basic arithmetic because of the grits. You know, the coarseness of the sandpaper. It's even math holding the belt under tension, if we really want to think about it that way. You can see it's really polishing that edge up. That plane is getting smooth. All right, nice and shiny. And I'll see whether it's sharp. And you know what? Look at that, boys and girls. It's pretty sharp. Sharp enough to shave with. All because of geometry. Math is really, really useful if you use it as a tool.